it's a way, it showed me um, more of the opportunities that I have um, with life. Like, at first, when I first came to high school, I didn't have like a, a plan of what I want to do after. Um, but joining ROTC, it gave me an like, insight of more of the opportunities that life provides. It, it really helped with leadership. Um, it helped you create, um, be creative. It make you think outside the box. Um, and so, you know, JRCC, I was like, well, I know this is more so related to military, so I was like, why not? So when I really first got into class, I was like, okay, is this for me? Is this not really for me? But now in my third year, I'm like, okay, this class is to provide me with so much more than what I thought it was gonna provide me with. And it also provides like scholarships and other stuff like that. And honestly, it just, it puts more in the community. Cause you know, the mission is to motivate young people to be better citizens. And through this program, we're making more people better every single day. And so honestly, I do. I chose JROTC as my pathway because it'll help me in the Army when I go in. It'll give me pay benefits and it'll also help me get ready for basic training. My project is the coast and I drew like some and I got some goldfish for the water and some streams for the sky and the water and some pond cones that looks like trees. Yeah, some... it's the land forms project. My land forms is a mountain and the coast. Good job. Um I have like these two toy lizards in there. Mm -hmm. And then I put like little bead like things like there in there because you know there's only a little bit of water in the desert. I made a mountain and I used cotton from a real field to put for the snow and I used paper and trees and butterflies. Then I had to put a spider. Then I put like the things that roll around in the desert. Like, and I made it with cereal. Because I can read my books every day and I can get new books every day. Um, insects books and normal books. Hey, it's Miss Chloe Logan in her homeroom class. We all reached our eight hour goal for the first time. Please give us a whoop whoop. Everybody got a whoop whoop. Reading because I can I can read a lot and also when I grow up I want to be a teacher. So AR stands for Accelerated Reader and it's a program that we use here at school um, to encourage students to read. And what they do is they come into the library and check out books or they can even read books from home and when they finish reading the book they take a test, a quiz on the computer. My favorite AR book is about an animal is like by a frog and the frog is showing about baby frog, little frog, and my other favorite forest and it teaches you what lives in the forest, what stays in the forest and um the goal is for the students to pass each test with at least an 85%. Um, each student has a goal each nine weeks that they try to work, work toward. So many books, and it just depends on what grade they're in as to what's the appropriate goal for them. And then at the end of the nine weeks, we, uh, we try to have a celebration. The, we have competitions within the grade levels, and we have um, rewards for students that meet their goals. I like AR because I like reaching my goals and reading books and making good 100s. I like it because it's my favorite thing to do 
it's a good thing to always learn about reading books. And so our goal is for students to uh, realize that reading is not a chore that they have to do, but instead reading is a fun activity. Reading can be enjoyable um, and useful. And we just want students to become lifelong lovers of reading in general. Why well, I love AR because I just love reading and I love experiencing all the books and imagination. You can think all the pictures in your mind and you can just think it is great to read. I'm Timothy. I'm Wyatt. I'm Joshua and we go to the enrichment program at Early County Elementary. We learn about um, creativity by doing random shape drawings and um, symmetry drawings. We also build bridges, balloon towers, and so much more using the materials you see here on these bridges. Speaking of bridges, we have an art bridge and, and a truss bridge. <laughs> And we've also learned engineering. Today I fixed a paper towel holder using the skills I've learned with engineering at Early County Elementary After School Enrichment Program. Early County is the greatest! Yeah! Uh, it's just always exciting to come and see our uh, future Bobcats and uh, future football players, cheerleaders, and band members. And it's always something special to see our players. It's really fun to come and have uh, fun with the little kids. They seem to enjoy the music. The other half, when we didn't scare them, they seem to have a whole lot of energy and they just really seem to love it. We were glad to be here. Yeah, as Trinity said, we had a great time. We hope to come back very soon and do some recruitment. Uh, we want to thank y'all for the warm welcome. We can't wait to see y'all next time.
Uh, for a number of years, we've had a partnership with the Rotary Club and the Literacy Task Force. They deliver dictionaries to our third graders, and that's uh, something we appreciate, and I know the students appreciate it too. So we thank them um, for their support. Uh, it's something our kids really need. They can give examples of words. This is always such a fun morning. The Literacy Task Force and the Rotary Club get to come to the school and visit third graders and deliver dictionaries to each classroom. And the dictionaries are especially fun because they have lots of extra information in it, um, including the longest word in the Eng English language. Um, so look that up if you don't know what it is. It looks cool to read. I can't wait to read it at home. We're here at Early County Elementary School to pass out dictionaries and we do this every year on behalf of the Literacy Task Force and with the help of our local Rotary Club. Every third grader in this school will receive a dictionary today to expand their learning abilities. Room, and they give us a dictionary and, and it has a bunch of information and and even if you're in third grade, you can you, um, you can just turn to page 382 to learn about your multiplication facts. I'm Wallace O'Neill. I represent the, representing the the uh, Rotary Club of Blakely, Georgia. Um, we are here at the elementary school to uh, pass out the dictionaries and uh, to the third graders and this is one of the things that I look forward to each year um, just to walk into the classroom and see the see the smile on those uh, young third graders uh, face there so we uh... you can learn sign language and you can learn about your water cycle and even you can learn how to do your numbers in sign language and another thing you can learn is your multiplication facts in here And I like to read so I can bring my grades up. When I say early, you say county early. When I say county, you say hi, county, county. When I say hi, you say school, hi, hi. When I'm possible, Mr. Keith Brown came up here and invigorated a lot of students. Dr. Brown was absolutely inspiring today. Uncle Keith was very encouraging today towards the teachers.